Welcome to the Captain Coder tutorial on creating an in-browser Tetris game in Elm. Elm is a purely functional programming language which compiles to JavaScript and runs in modern web browsers. It has been designed for creating highly interactive programs and I have found it to be perfect for creating Tetris. Before we get started, you'll most likely want to install the Elm platform on your computer so you can take advantage of the fantastic tools it provides. In particular, in this video series, we'll be using Elm Reactor, which runs a little web server on your computer, so you can quickly and easily run code while developing. To get the Elm platform, simply visit elm-lang.org and click on the install link from there. You'll see that there's an installer for Mac, Windows, and if you are familiar with NPM, you can simply install from source. All right. Now that you have that, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is create an empty directory, which I've done here. And you'll want to navigate to that directory with your shell or console and go ahead and start up Elm Reactor. Once that's running, you now have a little web server on your computer that you can visit in your web browser by going to localhost on port 8000. And there you have it. It shows that this directory is currently empty. So let's fix that by creating a block module. So I'm going to create a file called block.elm. And at the top of this, I'm going to say module block where. And I'm going to start writing my code here. The first thing I want to do, just to get this thing so that we can compile and see it. Uh, if you save this file, actually, and you refresh here, you'll now get block.elm. But if I try and load it, uh, we'll probably get an error since I don't have a main. I'm not entirely sure. It might go just fine. Uh, but yeah, it's expecting us to have at least one function in there. So I'm going to write a main function. And I'm going to have our main function show the number 42. Now, if we refresh, uh, we're getting an error now. It's a different error. And this one's saying it cannot find the variable show. And that's because we have not imported it yet. So. I know that show happens to be in the graphics module, and it's graphics.element. And so if we import graphics.element, we can now qualify this by typing graphics.element.show. We'll save the file and reload. And there we have it. We have a beautiful 42. Isn't it beautiful? All right. Most complex program I've written all day. OK. But you're probably asking yourself, what if I don't want to have to type this graphics.elements.show every time? All right, Elm provides a few ways to deal with this. In, in particular, this is called fully qualifying it. We can also specify our qualifier. So maybe I want to just do as element. Now, rather than doing graphics.element, the compiler will look for the word element instead. And I can refresh and it's happy with that. I could also just do E if I wanted. It doesn't even have to be part of the name. So I can do E.show if I'm that lazy. And if you're a truly lazy bastard like myself, and I often will do this, there's a special thing you can do called exposing. And we're going to expose the keyword show, or not the keyword, but the function show. And this makes it so I don't have to qualify it at all. It'll just Whenever uh, the word show comes up, it'll look in the graphics.element module for it. I can refresh, and there we go. Our 42 sitting there just as beautiful as ever. All right, and one more thing you can do is you can type dot dot in there. And the dot dot will actually expose everything that's in that module. So if you want to import a module and you know that you're not going to be conflicting with anything at all, you can use the dot dot to import all of the things. Um, if you're ever curious what's in a package, or sorry, in a module, you can go to package.elm-lang.org. Again, I'll put a link to this. And this is where all of the public libraries are posted. And over on the right, you'll see popular packages. And under general is the core library. That's the library we'll be using during this video series. We are only going to be using the core library, nothing extra, so you don't have to install anything extra. But we can hop down to graphics.elements and check it out. And graphics, graphical elements that snap together to build complex widgets and layouts. 
Each element is a rectangle with a known width and height, making them easy to combine and position. All right, so that's uh, what we're using is the graphics.element library. And we happen to use the show, which takes in an A, uh, which is anything, and produces an element. So the show function is actually pretty powerful. Anytime you want to take something and view it on the screen, you can just use the show function, and it'll pop it out. And their example here is a simple hello world. All right. So now that we have Elm up and running, we have Elm Reactor working, and we got ourselves a beautiful 42, uh, we can now begin working on our Tetris project. So in the next video, we'll finish up the block module, and this 42 will become something a little bit more impressive. Just a little bit.